हेलो एवरीबॉडी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट अ टॉपिक नेम एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ डीएसपी इन मोबाइल कम्युनिकेशन सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस मोबाइल कम्युनिकेशंस एंड हाउ डीएसपी इज यूज इन इट सो वी ऑल नो दैट टुडे इज द वर्ल्ड ऑफ वायरलेस कम्युनिकेशन एंड मोबाइल कम्युनिकेशन इज मोस्टली प्रेफर्ड इन वायरलेस कम्युनिकेशन सो टुडे we are going to discuss what is the role of dsp in mobile communication how the various signals in mobile communication are digitally processed and uh, what are the process and the requirement in the mobile communication which are fulfilled by the dsp so moving towards next slide uh, it contains the following contents today we are going to cover in our presentation so we are going to cover the following applications so first applications of dsp in mobile communication is to reduce the bandwidth in voice communication then comes the second application uh, it is low power implementation of dsp then in mobile communication dsp also used in real time multimedia facilities again to synchronize the audio and video signals dsp is used and the fourth application is to reduce the bandwidth of the video signal so moving towards our first application of dsp that is to reduce the bandwidth in voice communication as we know that if we increase the bit rate then we need more bandwidth so to reduce the bit rate required for transmitting telephone quality speech a new approach to speech compression is needed current mobile phone compress to about 13000 bits per second and we aim to achieve 4000 bits per second and lower using a method called dap stc compression is generally achieved by spectrally analyzing speech segments to derive a model of human speech process here the dap stc is newly and potentially more accurate way of doing potentially more accurate way of doing this with a modified modified speech production model a variable bit rate version achieves an average 2400 bits per second and it's suitable for packetized speech as may be transmitted over a computer networks so in general to reduce the bandwidth uh, we perform various processes at the transmitter side such as sampling quantizing quantizing is generally used to reduce the bit rate per seconds so now moving towards the second application of dsp that is low power implementation of dsp here the requirement of extended battery life reduced size and low electromagnetic interference for mobile communication equipment has led to the development of novel asynchronous dsp device known as cadre compiler support for a new device is needed to avoid manual assembly level programming apart from maximizing speech and minimizing code size the compiler is required to produce a code which exploits the special features of cadre to minimize the energy consumption again the optimization of software level bits on the economics achieved at software design level and aims to minimize the switching activity when dsp code is implemented so now moving towards our next slide the next application of dsp is real time multimedia facilities for distance learning over ip networks so generally what happens distance learning can be a major application of fixed and mobile computer networks and the internet 
we are concerned with the introduction of real time multimedia facilities into this application delay and network congestion have a more serious effect on real time traffic than on the next and there are interesting ways of adapting face to face communication as occur in typical distance learning scenarios to the available connection and their bandwidths an adaptive trade off between the speech data and images is possible and point to point routing between a participants can reduce the effect of network congestion again in multimedia the extraction of expressive performance parameter from acoustic recording of music music is also a part of a multimedia so dsp is used in acoustic recording of music again an effective musical performance involves very fine and subtle variations of timing dynamics timbre uh, articulation vibrato and other characteristics of the sound a conventional musical score gives only a general directions with respect to these characteristics our aim is to able to automatically measure the expressive characteristics of a live or recorded musical performance and to develop notation using color and other markings for argumenting the score with the with this measurements in a clear and convenient way so this has many applications for example in comparing different interpretations of the same piece providing feedback during the rehearsal and diagnostic problem with the technique so now we will move towards the next application that is voice over multi carrier wireless lans here the work addresses the problem of efficiently integrating wireless telephony and wireless computer networks using IEEE 802.11 standardized multi carrier physical layer this allows the sharing of resources common access to telephone and data services and the interaction between the normally separate systems traditional voice over ip approaches the inefficient in terms of system overheads and more recent proposals such as pi up are not compatible with ad hoc networks our technique transmits packetized voice on the multiple carrier individually one per voice channel and requires the wireless telephone to confirm the standard IEEE 802.11 collision advance protocols so this were the applications of dsp in mobile communication thus dsp plays a major role in mobile communication hope you like the presentation thanking you thank you